My name is Chad. I'm a student at a university in New York. I just moved to a studio apartment and needed some furniture. I found a guy on Craigslist that wanted to desperately get rid of his things at super cheap prices so I went to check it out. He sold things in bulk to get rid of as much things as possible. I bought a small table and it came with a bunch of other random things. Some of it I gave away and some I kept. An old wooden box caught my attention. It was locked and out of curiosity, I kept it. I had to force open the lid with a screwdriver, and inside, I found some old pictures. The word, bitter root, was handwritten on the backs of all of them. There was also a tin can that contained a reel of film that I later learned from my friend Dario, a film student, was 8mm film. The film was pretty damaged so I just kept it on my bookshelf as decoration, but I couldn't get the images of the pictures out of my head. I had to figure out a way to watch that film. With help from Dario, we got an old 8mm projector in good working condition on eBay. The film skipped in several spots so we put it together with a special tape and then watched it. The first six seconds of the film didn't have any footage, it was just a white screen. That didn't really catch my attention considering that this was filmed a long time ago. Then the next clip was footage of what looked like the woods. Everything seemed normal at first, like if someone was just filming around to test the camera. It was like this for about 45 seconds, until the next clip which was still footage in the woods, there was what looked like an old mini castle. It then twitched to the next clip of what looked like a man wearing a long cloak walking towards the building. It was filmed from far away like if the filmer was spying on the man. The filmer later managed to get inside the building. The first 30 seconds of the film was just touring inside the building and then again showing the next clip of the man in a room. Although, it wasn't an ordinary room. The room was very dirty, and then the man was sitting on a chair at a table with a bowl. He was stirring it. Like a witch stirring a cauldron. In the ground next to him was a bag that was about 5-6 feet long. The man was poking it with a long stick. The scariest part of this was that the bag was moving. Moving like if there was a body inside. The next clip was footage of touring around. But not around the house instead, around the room. The man was gone at this point, but the things that I saw on the footage that were in the room, made me choke on vomit. There was what looked a lot like old rotting bodies that you could see in these glass little boxes or chambers. The clip changed and went back to the woods again and showed the man walking in a far distance. The filmer was slowly walking towards the man. The clip changed again, but the scenery didn't. Like it was another shot. It showed the man with a little bag in his hand walking towards a little tiny ravine. He then tossed the bag in the little ravine and slowly walked away. After the man was gone, the filmer walked slowly towards the ravine and saw the bag. It actually wasn't a bag. It was an object wrapped in a piece of cloth. The filmer picked up the cloth and unfolded it to reveal the object inside of it. What we found on the clip was disturbing. The object was what looked like a very misshaped head that was horribly battered and beaten. After seeing this, the next clip showed the filmer running away as fast as they could. And then the film ended. Me and Dario had shivers crawling up and down our spines and I vomited in my mouth. We demanded to know what the heck was going on and why did the seller sell this to us. We contacted Chris, the guy who sold the stuff to us, about what he had sold us. But we didn't get any response back. This footage will be a mystery to me, until I get an explanation.